So what I'm going to do now, sorry, I'm going to exit this out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, open up all the files that I just exported, which is there's going to be six files. There's going to be the three on sale and then the three itemized menu items that we had available for tomorrow. We are not quite yet going to do the family dinners or the subscriptions yet, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. So basically, I need to organize all of the data that I just pulled from the six files into these columns. So I've just organized uh, I need the name, phone number, shipping method, delivery preference, address, city, zip code, yada, yada, yada. And I just grabbed all of this information off of these sheets. I don't need you to do this on Google Doc when you're organizing it, but after you're done organize it, organizing it, I would like it put back on a Google Sheet um, for me to access easily. So basically, I just grabbed all of the data from the um, walnut pesto meal. I put the line item quantity, um, the name of the item, the variant, which we need to know if it's regular or double protein, which are the only two options that they have when ordering a specific meal. And then I need to grab um, any checkout notes. So basically, if there's any allergies or specific delivery notes. Um, okay, so I'm going to do one more. Um, ideally, you're going to have all six, but just for training purposes, I'm only going to do two right now. So that one's done. Okay, this one is um, the sloppy joes that were on sale. So basically, um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab and paste all of this data. Grab the variant. Notice that there's two different checkout form notes. One is for delivery, and one is for like specific instructions. I'm going to grab the delivery preference and I'm going to put that in the delivery preference column, which is going to be right here. Delivery preference is different than the shipping method. So I'm going to grab the shipping method. We want all shipping details, no billing details. So we don't want the billing method, we don't want like the billing name, billing address, we want the shipping, um, shipping name, shipping address, all things of that nature. So then we'll grab the shipping phone. The shipping name. The shipping address. Remember just to pay attention to this column two right here. If there's like an apartment number, I like to attach it to um, just, I like to put it all in one column. So I'm going to put that in the address right here. Great. Okay. I'm going to delete these columns right here, just these two. I'm just going to clear the formatting. Okay, and so as you can see that there's a gap um, right here, and that is because Melissa Stroud ordered regular and double protein, and for some reason if the customer orders regular and double protein of the same meal, um, it doesn't duplicate. So I'm just going to paste all of her same information so that we know this order goes to Melissa. Um, and again, it will be right underneath the customer's name if they have done that. So pretend I have done all six items. Um, again, for training purposes, I'm only going to do these two. Um, I'm going to organize them by name. So I just organized it A through Z just so I can see if anybody needs to be like combined. Um, before I combine, um, you know, multiple items under one name. I'm just going to clean up the sheet a little bit. So this is a very important thing. Under ship by shipping method, you'll see delivery preference. So when you check out on our website, you have to select which shipping method you would like. Um, and I'm just going to really quick, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Let me see if I can go there quickly. 
just so that you can better understand why. With Squarespace, it doesn't give you a lot of, um, you know, shipping options. So I'm just going to uh, add something to my cart. So you'll see right here, um, under shipping options, you have family, dinner, home delivery, which if you order a family dinner, which is one item we will um, export, the delivery price is already included in that, so delivery is free. Um, if you choose local meal pickup, delivery is also free because you're picking up your meals at a certain location. If you have a family dinner, but you've ordered prepped meals as well, so if I have like the chicken tinga tacos, which are tomorrow's delivery, and I have a sloppy Joe's meal. Because the driver is still going to your house to deliver your family dinner and you've already paid for delivery, your meals still have to be, your prep meals have to be insulated in packaging. So that's why we offer a discounted price if you're um, if you're ordering the prepped meals as well. If you are just ordering prepped meals, you need to select and you want home delivery, so you want us to physically take the meals to your house or office, you need to select single home delivery if it if you're only receiving delivery on Tuesday or a Friday, or if you're ordering meals from both days, which in this case I am, I'm ordering Sloppy Joe's on Tuesday and the Chinese chicken salad from Friday's menu, then I would need to select two home delivery options. So as I continue on, um, as you can see, if I do select a local meal pickup, I need to know where you're going to go. So under delivery preference, I'm going to mark which location that is. So um, if it's, these are all of our pickup locations. Um, there's no way to bypass this. So even if you chose to pay for your meals and have them delivered, all you would do is select you know, home delivery. But what some people do is they try and order prepped meals, select a local meal pickup option, but under the delivery preference, they'll put home delivery. So that's what we have to look out for. And if anybody does that, then I just need you to send me like a simple Word document or email. Um, just a quick note letting me know who did that so that we can charge them for delivery. So if they have chose home delivery as their delivery preference and it is in this column right here, but over here it says meal pickup, go ahead and still send it to their house. Just send me a report on who and I will charge them manually for home delivery. So I'm gonna just quickly go through um, and look at the people who said local meal pickup. Um, so these are two local meal pickups. I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna paste it right here. Um, these people paid for home delivery. This person wants to pick up there. Okay, family dinner, prep meals, this is fine. They're gonna get home delivery. Um, these people have family dinner plus prepped meals home delivery. So they paid extra for home delivery, but they for some reason selected that at a pickup location. Um, I am going to just always default that to regular home delivery. And so that is only in the case that they select the family dinner with the prepped meals. So they have paid a discounted delivery price, but for some reason they select, I think it was an error on the customer's part. So if they've paid for a delivery method in any way, just go ahead and default it to home delivery. Um, so yeah, these people are gonna be home delivery. Um, we can paste this over here. Home delivery, home delivery, this person has local meal pickup, home delivery. These people have local meal pickup as well. Home delivery, home delivery, these people have local meal pickup. Okay, great, so now, that we have all of their delivery preferences updated in the shipping method, I'm just going to get rid of this column. I don't need it anymore. Then what I'm gonna do before I 
you know, combine the multiple items in one cells, I'm just going to clean up the list a little bit. So um, you don't need to change any of the home deliver any of the pickup locations. So these would be considered all of the pickup locations right here. All of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it says anything about home delivery, then you do not. Um, those are the ones you're going to simplify. So two home deliveries, I'm just going to change that to home delivery. And that just makes it simpler for when you export it onto the label, um, our, our packing label. So we just want this sheet, match the case. Great. I'm going to also change single home delivery to home delivery. It's also home delivery. I'm going to select this one. Great, so they either have either just a clean home delivery or it specifically says where they are picking it up. The next thing that I'm going to clean up is the name of the item. So Martinez Farms Walnut Pesto Chicken, I'm going to just replace that with Pesto Chicken. Just use your best judgment, something that clearly states what it is, but is just a little cleaner and simpler. And then for Sloppy Joe's, I'm going to replace that just with Sloppy Joe. Great. I don't need to know if an item is regular. I will always default it as regular. So I would rather not have the regular on the label. Um, so just go ahead and we are going to replace regular just with a blank square. I just need to know if they're double protein. The next thing I'm going to clean up is, um, so as you can see, this lady said, I chose home delivery and meal prep for five dollars. I don't need, I don't know why I needed to add a delivery preference, so she, so I just added one. So she clearly states she wants home delivery. She was just confused. I'm going to delete that note because we don't need it. Um, all these other notes you can leave on there. Um, what I'm going to do now is delete any duplicate names. So. Before I do that, I'm just going to combine the number and the item. I don't want to, the number, the item, and the variant all in one cell. So I'm going to highlight these. I use power tools to do it. You can use whatever program you want it. I just need the same end result. I'm going to merge and combine these values. Great, so those are all combined. Um, the next thing that I want is I want all of these to be in uh, first letter capitals, so all of the columns. Okay, great. I'm just going to let that work really quick. Okay, so I think it's about done. Um, sorry, it takes my computer a second to do that. Um, and that is how we organize the, um, the spreadsheet. I would like them, oh sorry, the last thing we're going to do is um, just combine the names. So any duplicate data, I don't want it to show up twice. 
Um, so I always, I also use power tools. Sorry for that. What did I just do? Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight everything, open back up my power tools, and then um, if you notice, like there's two Melissa Strouds. Typically when there's six, when all of them are um, on here, you will see that, um, you know, some people order like five different items. So it will, there'll be a lot more duplicates than it looks like now, but I'm just showing you this for good measure. Um, I'm going to merge and combine. I'm going to combine duplicate rows. So if you notice, like Melissa Stroud has a duplicate phone number, um, shipping method, you know, yada, yada, yada. I just want one line with and then telling me all of the items that she has. So the name's going to be the same, phone number, shipping method, all of this should be the same. Only thing that's going to be different is the item variant. And I'm just going to separate them with a the space. The notes should be the same unless that they have physically went in and placed two separate orders. So this is about done. Sorry, not sure why it's taking so long. So um, again, this is how you will organize all of the itemized um, items. So we'll just keep an eye on Melissa Stroud so that you can see that both of her quantities, items, and variants are all combined in one cell. And the reason why we don't want them in two separate cells is because it will show up as two different labels and we only need one label for her. So Melissa Stroud, you can now see has one pesto chicken, three pesto chicken double proteins.